Monday. I had to go to the treasurer's office of Virginia Beach this morning and buy a license for the new gig over there at the, uh, what do you call it, King's Grant Baptist Church. So they decided after our first gathering that we had to have a license. So while I was over there, I got a call from a guy who wants me to sharpen two knives for him. I said, okay, I'm not very far from there. And he lives about 10 minutes from there. I said, okay, I'll meet you. Well, there's the two knives. When in reality, it's four knives. Because you know what this is. You've seen a couple of these before. This is a big gurker. I don't know anything about what kind of gurker it is. I just know it's a gurker. And it's got two little, and I forget what the name for those little gurkers are right there, but they have a specific name. I'd have to look it up to tell you what they are. And then this unknown knife, it's automatic. You just push the button, it pops open. We want to sharpen it and clean it up. It says, that's the only thing it says, stainless. However, as you can see, if it is stainless, it's bad condition stainless or poor stainless. But anyway, I think the buffer and the compound will take care of that. Now the Gurker, on the other hand, let's look at the little ones. One of the little ones is in terrible condition. The other one is uh, not much better, but a little better. And the Gurkha itself, stand by. No much, no much about it, whether it's old or not, he didn't say. But it appears to be kind of old. And it's a little bit smaller in mass size than the other two I've done. It's a thinner, not as wide through the shack middle there. And of course the other two, one was a brand new uh, cold steel one, the other one was a really old 1946 Gurkha from India. Actually from, a guy bought it in London. But you can see it's in not, not in bad shape. It'll clean up pretty nice. Okay, I got some action. And then of course when I came back it was time to go for a spin on the bed low tide. So I gathered up the uh, CTX and I hunted for two and a half hours with uh, Mr. Bobby and the Guru. And that's two that's two out of two and a half hours worth right there. One penny, six bottle caps, and what's it? I said, good googa mooga. So I stayed around another hour and I got twenty-five cent, twenty-eight cent. And I got a nice piece of wire and a bling earring. And another little what's it? And then I hit this silver ring. Can't find any marks in it, but it came up 1247. I know it's a silver. And then I hit this ticket. Now this is a cool ticket. I don't know if it's old, but it looks old. It's a it's a it's apparently it's a kid's watch. Just a little brass thing. It's on a stretchy band. And I don't know if it's old. I just think it's old. It looks like it ought to be old. But it's pretty cool. It was hot as blazes today. I guess we'll go back to the same spot tomorrow. Uh, I got an eye appointment at 2 o'clock to get my eyes checked. I haven't had them checked since 2012. I do a night at two, that shouldn't take two. And I'll do these knives in the morning before it gets too hot. At least I'll work on, work on doing them. He's not hurry for them, so I may not do them right away. And then I got to mess around and not do much of anything after that other than wait to go to the doctor's office. All right, I got to run. I got to get the uh, carnivore something to eat. Man dude says, Daddy, Daddy, where's my damn food at? I'm starving. He comes in every day. He's just like Jack. He meets you at the door when you come in. He sits right by you when you're doing something. Not like them other damn cats. 
<laughs> but like I said, you can't touch him, but you can scratch him. Big old cat man do. I named him Fat Blackjack now. Where are you going? <laughs> He was a big old jack. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Good luck to everybody.